Introducing Summary Reports, TrackDIA's Business Intelligence Reporting. Here's how you use it. If you'd like to play along, you can download the file we used in the description below. Just import this Excel file as a new table in one of your apps, or use it to create a new app. If that process isn't sounding familiar, take a look at our two minutes getting started video to get caught up. For this demo, we'll start in the revenue view. This view shows all of the opportunities that a sales team has in their pipeline. I would like to create a real-time report to show me a summary of the amounts of these deals by salesperson so I can learn which salesperson has the potential to bring in the most revenue for the company. So our first step is to click on the Create View button. This will launch the View Builder. Here we'll create a name for this chart. I'll call it Revenue by Salesperson. I don't have to limit which fields need to be in this chart since we'll choose those later, so I'll not worry about that now. I'll also skip over the filters as well, though I might use that later to filter the report to just include deals in the third quarter, for example. On the Format tab, we'll first choose the field we'd like to summarize. For this example, we'll pick License Revenue, and then we'll choose how we'd like to summarize it by selecting one of the summary functions. I'll pick some so that we can see a total of the value of the license revenue per salesperson. And since we want this summary by salesperson, I'll choose that as the group by. After I click Save, you'll see that same list of opportunities grouped by salesperson and a sum of the license revenue for each person. I can drill down into each of the records for more detail, for example, to see Frank's biggest opportunities. However, I'd also like to see this information in a chart. To do this, I'll just create a new view, again, bypassing the fields and filters. And when I land on the Format tab, I just need to choose a chart type. And maybe sort the result set to clean up the presentation a bit. From there, I'll give it a name and save it. Now there's one other chart I'd like to see, and that will tell me how many deals each salesperson is working. To do this, I'll just create another view, and on the Format tab, instead of summing up the license revenue, I'll count them instead. That count summary function will count the number of deals instead of adding up their value. Again, give this chart a name, and now you've got a variety of charts that you can add to a dashboard and share with your team. What have I learned from this example? I found out that while Adam is working the most deals, Frank's deals are potentially a lot more valuable to the company. So as you can see, these summary reports can give you great insight into your business. I hope you can now try them out on your data and see what they tell you. And don't forget, we're here to help if you need. Just visit us at help.trackvia.com.